girls 17-18 500 yard freestyle. In lane number one, Helena Galley. Lane two, Kara Silvas, Northern Nevada. Lane three, Shannon Holton, Pleasanton. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Shannon. Oh, excuse me, that was Sasha Alcone from Pleasanton Seahawks in three. Shannon Holton, your leader from this morning, Marissa Brown in five. Beverly Wynn in six. Caitlin Gutierrez in seven. And in lane number eight, Michelle Greeno. Last night we saw Shannon Holton win that 400 IM off of a pretty stellar breaststroke leg. She also finished it off obviously with some freestyle and so no surprise to see her as the top qualifier from this morning and the leader at the 50, or actually just behind your leader, it was Shannon Holton with a uh, 27 mid but Sasha Alcone had the fastest first 50 split and it's still now, now it's back to Holton in lane number four as they come up on the 100. Shannon Holton flipping in 57.07. Just in front of lane number six, Seven. that is oh, Beverly, or excuse me, Mal, uh, Beverly Nguyen in lane number six. Well, this morning, Shannon Holton was a 5.025. So another swimmer right on that five minute mark, hoping to get under. We've seen a lot of swimmers drop considerable amounts of time in the from their prelim to final swims. So the 500 is definitely a not necessarily easier not easier event, but an easier event to drop time in. Well, like we talked about yesterday, I think it's uh, an event that everybody knows is pretty tough to swim all out twice. So a lot of these swimmers knowing what they need to do to get back for the finals, making that happen and kind of saving up a little bit for this championship heat. As we see your leader, Shannon Holton, powering through the first 200 in 156.65, followed by Beverly Wynn out in 157.50 for Wynn, up in lane number six, rocking that yellow cap of Davis. Pretty good race going on for third, right behind our two leaders. And five, Marissa Brown. And three, Sasha Alcone, and down there, lane number one, Helena Galley. But only halfway through this 500, it's technically still anybody's race. 226 for Holton at the halfway, so she is definitely on pace to be under five minutes and hanging with her still as Beverly Wynn there up at the top. This morning, Holton was 5025, so safe to assume that she has a sub five minute swim in her right here tonight. And what we're learning about Beverly Wynn is that she definitely took it easy in the morning because she has come along with Shannon Holton as the two to separate from the field. And at the 300, Holton flipping in 256.74. Wynn flipping up there in lane number six in a time of 258.11. Holton's third hundred there was a double O low, so she doesn't look like she's fading, at least not just yet. Beverly Wynn might have picked up a little bit of yardage there on that 25. But 150 left to go. Beverly Wynn's still hanging at Holton's feet. In the meantime, in lane three, that's Sasha Alcone moving into the third place position by about a body length. At the 350, it continues to be Shannon Holton in lane four and Beverly Wynn in lane six. I think it's safe to say it's now or never for Beverly Wynn. If she wants to make a move, she's going to have to do it now because once we hit that 100 to go mark, it's going to be very tough to have enough speed to pass your leader, Shannon Holton, who right now is getting set to flip at the 400. and She's about a 59 on that fourth 100 as she flips at 357 double O. Wynn flipping at 358 four O. And it does look like Beverly Wynn is reeling Shannon Holton in ever so slightly, but with 75 yards to go, it's gonna take a more dramatic move to take the lead here. Agreed, Holton's still looking strong, but she's almost getting a little bit of that gallop in there now. 50 yards left to go, there's the bell. Beverly's looking really smooth up there at the top, but she's got about three yards to make up here on this final 50. I'm not sure if she's gonna have enough time. I think both these girls are gonna be well under five minutes though. Great drops from this morning swims and good way to get the session started. They are way out in front of the rest of this field and it's gonna be Shannon Holton taking 
her second win of the weekend. She's under the flags and into the wall with a 4.56.8.0. Touching for second, Beverly Wynn in lane number six with a 4.58.10, also under that five minute mark. And getting in third in lane three with a 5.05.04 is Sasha Alcone from the Pleasanton Seahawks.